So as the leaders in PC-based data acquisition, we know that many of you have been developing software around our DAC API for many years. And we realize that you have a significant amount of time and code in those systems, yet you still want to leverage the latest hardware technologies. We just gave you an example of how we protect your software investment with Ethernet Compact DAC. Now we're doing the same for high channel count sensor measurement systems. And to tell you more, please welcome Shay Clymer and Elizabeth Smith. <laughs> Morning, guys. Morning. Hey, John. We are taking on the challenges of high channel count systems by introducing SC Express. This new family includes high performance PXI Express data acquisition modules with built in signal conditioning for measuring all of your sensors and high voltage signals. Key features of the family include increased accuracy, high bandwidth, and best in class synchronization to integrate with a wide variety of I.O. on the PXI platform. Earlier this year, we released the first three modules in the family, including a simultaneous bridge input module and a 32 channel thermocouple module with accuracies up to 0.02% and 0.3 degrees. Also included in the family is a high voltage input module with 300 volts of channel to channel isolation. Now, sounds like some impressive measurement capabilities, but Shay, what would be a typical application where I would use these new products? You know, these products are really well suited for structural measurements, and in fact, that's one of the fastest growing application areas. In particular, full-scale component testing is a critical means to ensure that our structural behave as expected once we deploy it into the field. Okay, so but you said full-scale. Uh, what would a full-scale test look like? Well, our team thinks big, and uh, we had this wind turbine blade in mind, um, but we were told pretty quickly to find a way to scale back our full-scale test. So uh, we've got these model turbine blades, not nearly as fun, but they're instrumented with strain gauges, accelerometers, and LVDTs. So we're gonna put you to work this morning. Uh, why don't you step over here and apply some force to the blade, and we'll see the response on the 3D picture control up here. We're performing a static analysis by simultaneously measuring all of the sensors. There's a crack in the blade shown to the left, so we expect to see less strain at that point. This is represented by the yellow portion on the graph. All right, so it's a good looking display. It's clear the deformity we have in the one blade, but uh, guys, what's another test that perhaps we could do on this? Well, the next step is to simulate an impact, and um, that will help us further characterize the dynamic behavior of the blade. So I'm gonna go ahead and release the blades, but uh, watch closely, it's gonna happen in less than a second. What you'll see in a second is the strain response from the two blades. And as you can tell from the crack blade on the left, it dampens much more rapidly, and that's due to the loss in the structural integrity of the blade. Now, to do that type of dynamic measurement, I mean, how were we able to acquire the data that fast? Well, this year at NI Week, we're introducing the latest addition to the family, which is our new high-speed bridge input module with sample rates greater than 100 kilosamples per second. To test a full-scale wind turbine blade, we need to measure thousands of strain gauges. That means multiple synchronized chassis. To show you how that's done, we split our strain measurements across these two systems. All right, so I see the two chassis, and if we're gonna synchronize them, I would expect to see some type of coax that would be synchronizing the clocks. Typically, we would have that, but in this case, we're using PXI clock disciplining in the soon-to-release PXIE 6674T. We're using it to synchronize the 10 megahertz clock with time references, such as GPS, 1588, or IRIG-B so we can synchronize the chassis without any physical connection between them. Okay, so I can see how we can handle the synchronization, but uh, if Shay had been able to get that full-scale blade on stage, can we really scale up the channels? Absolutely. While traditional signal conditioning platforms are limited in channel count, SC Express can scale with your application requirements to acquire all channels with best-in-class synchronization. All right, guys, well, it sounds like we have a, a great expanded offering now for these high channel count sensor measurement systems. Shay, Elizabeth, thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Thanks John. John.